The universe is vast. It's filled with billions of galaxies, each galaxy home to billions of stars. And around those stars, there are planets. It's a cosmic dance of celestial objects, a symphony of light and matter. We humans are just a small part of this grand cosmic play, but our curiosity knows no bounds. We gaze up at the night sky, filled with awe and wonder, yearning to understand our place in this vast, mysterious universe. The Big Bang is the prevailing theory for the universe's origin. It occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago. It was not an explosion in space, but rather the expansion of space itself. The universe began as an incredibly hot, dense point. Then it expanded and cooled. In the first few moments, the universe was a sea of fundamental particles. Temperatures were so high that no atoms could form. The universe was filled with a primordial soup of quarks, leptons, and their antiparticles. As the universe expanded, it cooled. This allowed particles to combine and form protons and neutrons. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. This era is called recombination. Electrons combined with protons and neutrons to form hydrogen and helium atoms. The universe became transparent to light. This light, known as the cosmic microwave background radiation, can still be detected today. The Big Bang model is supported by numerous observations. The expansion of the universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation, and the abundance of light elements all point to a hot, dense early universe. The Big Bang theory provides a framework for understanding the evolution of the universe from its earliest moments. After the Big Bang, the universe was remarkably smooth. Matter was distributed almost evenly, but tiny fluctuations in density existed. These fluctuations were amplified by gravity over time. Denser regions attracted more matter, becoming even denser. These denser regions eventually collapsed under their own gravity. They formed the first stars and galaxies. Gravity sculpted the universe, pulling matter together into vast cosmic structures. The early universe transitioned from a smooth, homogeneous state to a clumpy, structured one. The first stars were massive and short-lived. They burned through their nuclear fuel quickly, ending their lives in spectacular supernova explosions. These explosions seeded the universe with heavier elements. These elements became the building blocks for planets and life. Galaxies, vast collections of stars, gas and dust formed through hierarchical mergers. Smaller galaxies coalesced to form larger ones. The Milky Way, our own galaxy, is a product of this process. It continues to grow by absorbing smaller dwarf galaxies. Stars are born in giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These nebulae are cold and dense. Gravity pulls the gas and dust together. As the cloud collapses, it heats up. At the center of the collapsing cloud, a protostar forms. A protostar is a hot, dense ball of gas. It's not yet a true star because nuclear fusion hasn't begun. As the protostar continues to collapse, its core temperature and pressure increase. When the core temperature reaches about 10 million degrees Celsius, nuclear fusion begins. Hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing tremendous amounts of energy. This energy creates an outward pressure that balances the inward pull of gravity. The protostar becomes a stable star. Stars come in a variety of sizes and masses. The most massive stars are incredibly bright and hot. They live for millions of years. Smaller stars, like our sun, are less luminous and live for billions of years. Stars are the cosmic engines that create the elements essential for life. Welcome to Section 5, Galactic Tapestry Islands of Stars. Galaxies are vast islands of stars, gas and dust, each one unique in its composition and appearance. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. 
Spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way feature a central bulge surrounded by spiral arms. Elliptical galaxies, on the other hand, are smooth and oval-shaped. Then, there are irregular galaxies which boast no defined shape at all. Interestingly, galaxies are not randomly scattered throughout the universe. Instead, they are meticulously organized into clusters and superclusters, interconnected by filaments of dark matter. Dark matter, an invisible form of matter, does not interact with light and constitutes about 85% of the matter in the universe. Within these clusters, galaxies interact with each other gravitationally. They can collide and merge, giving birth to new, larger galaxies. A prime example of this is the Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest large galactic neighbor, which is on a collision course with the Milky Way. The two galaxies are expected to merge in about four billion years. Galaxies are not static. They are dynamic systems constantly evolving and changing. By studying galaxies, we gain invaluable insights into the large-scale structure of the universe and the processes that drive its evolution. Ooh. Section 6. The Cosmic Cookbook, Forging the Elements. The Big Bang produced the lightest elements, hydrogen and helium. Heavier elements are forged in the hearts of stars through nuclear fusion. Stars are cosmic furnaces that transform lighter elements into heavier ones. During a star's life, it fuses hydrogen into helium in its core. When the hydrogen fuel is exhausted, the star begins to fuse helium into carbon and oxygen. This process continues, creating heavier elements like neon, magnesium, silicon and iron. The most massive stars can fuse elements all the way up to iron. Iron is the most stable element. Fusing iron requires more energy than it releases. When a massive star tries to fuse iron, it collapses under its own gravity. This collapse triggers a supernova explosion. Supernova explosions are incredibly powerful events. They scatter the elements forged in the star's core throughout the interstellar medium. These elements become the building blocks for new stars, planets and life. We are literally made of stardust. Section 7. From those star planets, the formation of those worlds, planets form from the leftover materials after the star is born. Despite real, a swirling disk of gas and dust covered the protoplanetary disk orbits the fueling star. Dust grains collide and stick together, forming larger and larger objects. Gravity pulls these objects together, forming planetesimals. Planetesimals are the building blocks of planets. They continue to collide and grow, eventually becoming planets. In the inner solar system, where temperatures are higher, rocky planets like Earth and Mars formed in the outer solar system where temperatures are the colder gas chains like Jupiter and Saturn formed. His planets have passive atmospheres of hydrogen and helium. They also have rings of ice and dust particles. The formation of planets is a complex process. It involves a delicate balance of gravity collisions and the properties of the protoplanetary disk. Studying planets helps us understand the conditions necessary for the formation of habitable worlds. Section 8. A Universe Teeming with Life Life as we know it requires specific conditions. It needs liquid water, a source of energy, and a stable environment. Earth, with its unique combination of factors, has fostered the evolution of life over billions of years. But is Earth the only place in the universe where life exists? The sheer vastness of the universe suggests that life may exist elsewhere. There are billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars. Many of these stars likely have planets orbiting them. Some of these planets may have conditions suitable for life. Scientists are searching for signs of life beyond Earth. They are looking for biosignatures, which are chemical or physical indicators of past or present life. These biosignatures could be detected in the atmospheres of exoplanets or in the icy moons of our solar system. The discovery of extraterrestrial life would be a profound event. It would revolutionize our understanding of our place in the universe. It would demonstrate that life is not unique to Earth, suggesting that the universe may be teeming with life. 
Section 9, Our Cosmic Destiny. The universe is constantly evolving. Stars are born and die. Galaxies collide and merge. The universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. What does the future hold for the cosmos and our place within it? The ultimate fate of the universe is uncertain. Some theories suggest that the universe will continue to expand forever, becoming colder and darker. Others propose that the expansion will eventually slow down and reverse, leading to a big crunch. Our own solar system has a finite lifespan. In about 5 billion years, the sun will run out of hydrogen fuel. It will expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. Eventually, the sun will shed its outer layers, leaving behind a white dwarf. As a species, we are just beginning to explore the cosmos. We have sent probes to other planets, landed rovers on Mars, and peered deep into the universe with telescopes. Our thirst for knowledge and exploration will continue to drive us to unravel the mysteries of the universe. We are part of something vast and ancient. We are products of the cosmic evolution that began with the Big Bang. As we continue to explore the universe, we gain a deeper understanding of our place in the grand cosmic scheme. We are stardust, destined to return to the cosmos, but our legacy of exploration and discovery...